So whereas before we ended up with a uh, stack of content here that we can go about adding and editing, there's two parts here that we need to add to make sure that we are complete, and that is having the scroll on the top here that will react automatically with the scrolling that we do, and the second part is to add some audio here as well that is clickable that the user can therefore click and hear whatever narration we have over the top. We're going to start with the uh, progress bar at the top because that's the most straightforward. I'm going to skip back here into my story stream uh, on GitHub, and I'm going to come back here to my component library. And I'm going to come here to the very top, which is the progress bar. And I'm going to select all of the content here, including the title. I'm going to go right click copy. And then I'm going to click back here into my uh, Notepad file. And just underneath here, uh, my your content goes here. But above my hero image, I'm going to paste that. Now, quite Fortunately, that should be all that we need to do at this stage when it comes to using our progress bar. The reason for that is that this stuff here references some other content that's available here um, within the script here that we don't really need to do much editing of. So I'm going to Control S to save that, and then I'm going to double click that, and it will open it up and you'll see that I've got our the, uh, the story thus far, and as I scroll down you'll see that I've got this green back and forth. Now the only bit that you might want to add here is doing a little bit of editing. So let's say you don't like this, this story so far. Let's say we want to go about changing that. Well it lives here under this H2 tag. I can delete this and I can make this uh, how our story is progressing. Now of course I can now control S to save that and go about opening the HTML and you'll see that it has changed. Now let's say that you are using a particular color scheme and the green here doesn't work for you. Well, this is one of the few times when you may want to go and do some editing of the preset content up in here. We'll do this only briefly because for a lot of people the green will work perfectly fine, but it's worth just seeing what is here within the styling. The styling uh, looks, again, a lot scarier than what it is, but um, there is some content here that we should be able to find that refers to the progress bar, the scroll indication. And it talks about um, the background here. And what we should be able to do is change this hash here, all right, that includes the hash, 4C, etc, etc. Let's say we want to make that blue. I can hit Control S and go about opening that again. And you'll see now that it scrolls along up and down as blue. Um, the majority of basic colors are going to be available here. Um, you know, you might find some um, fairly uh, crazy ones that are available to you. It should be fairly, um, fairly um, um, broad in terms of the categories of colors that are available. So see if you can find one that doesn't exist. Good luck with that. I'm going to scroll back up here and collapse the style again. Now the last bit that we're going to be adding here is the audio. And the reason we do this last is because it requires you to previously have a couple of files already available. So what I mean by that is, here within my uh, folder here that just has mystory1.html, uh, you're going to need to include some mp3 files here that you will need to pre-record or get from somewhere. So I have a couple here that I prepared earlier, just they're called narration1.mp3 and narration2. So just as, as raw samples, I'm going to go right click copy, I'm going to paste them in so that they are right next to my HTML file. Now they have to be within the same folder here for this next step to work. What we're going to do is instead of embedding these mp3 files directly into the HTML page, we're going to tell the HTML to go and pull up these two files one after another and play them. So how does this work? Well again I can skip back here to my GitHub and I can go about finding this audio controller. I can select all of this and go right click copy. I can skip back here into my body and let's say I want to put it straight underneath the hero image. I can just create a couple of lines here and hit paste. All right, so I pasted that in. Now you see by default here that this is listed as the source um, is narration1.mp3. If you've got a different file name for your content here, then you would need to make sure that it, it's changed to match whatever file name is there. So let's say that yours is not called narration1, let's say it's called my narration. Then if I were to go about trying to play this in here, that file won't exist. I need this to be the same everything, uh, including the .mp3 at the end, as whatever your source is. So if I now hit Control S on that and go and reopen my file, you'll see that I now have this component here. If I were to hit play, I'm going to have Chewbacca um, doing some um, um, uh, doing some Wookiee sounds to me. Um, you will note that in my version, uh, this is going to be uh, too far I've skipped over to the right. That'll be corrected and it should appear somewhere over here in the center uh, when you guys go about using the stream here. Now let's say I want to use a second narration at some point. Well, I can go uh, select the same thing and go copy. And this time I might place it down here under my parallax with overlay image. I'm going to paste that 
instead of this being narration 1, I'm going to change it to narration 2 and hit Control S and that will um, suit this file here. Were I to come back in here and make sure that I've saved it and then reopen this file here, my story, then when I scroll down I'll have a second bit here which is going to be Obi-Wan Kenobi. So this will be the, uh, the full and complete project here. From here you should be able to again mix and match all of these components together in such a way that you can create um, whatever story you would so choose.